G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I am of course the Kalflos and today we're going to be taking a look at the Path of Champions in the Legends of Runeterra. We're going to be doing the new weekly adventures today and we are going to be doing the four and a half star weekly adventure against Katarina. So this is a really, really interesting one, right? Because this is the first time we are seeing a um, adventure with a difficulty higher than four stars. If I'm not mistaken, if we just quickly uh, skedaddle over to the Targon campaign here, Aurelian Sol, which is the hardest difficulty champion uh, right now, and as you can see, it's only like at four stars so four and a half stars is a first for the game i would believe now this also tells me you know potentially that uh when we are gonna get the target campaign because target sorry not target the failure campaign because as you can see failure is still locked over here i imagine that the failure campaign is probably gonna be five stars because i think um we have seen like what four star adventure previously when uh basically the highest i think was the three and a half star galley or something so yeah it could be really really interesting to see here um my my guess for the Freljord, you know, I think is probably going to be Lissandra. Uh, you know, arguably, probably Lissandra seems like the best final boss choice compared to, say, maybe Sejuani or, um, you know, Ash. I think Orn could be a good pick as well. Or if they were to introduce something like a uh, Volley Bear later on, I think that could be kind of cool. But yeah, right now, as things stand, if there is a Freljord campaign coming, it's probably going to be Lissandra. But anyway, let's come back to today's task at hand, which is the weekly adventures, of course. So against Katarina here. Now, let me just quickly go over the special rules real quick. Suffer, round start, deal one to all the player's damage units. Iterative enhancements round start the full summons to the next turret. Vicious enemy pretty standard, plus 10 XL, plus 1 starting mana, plus 1 starting hand size. So obviously going off of this, right? I would have preferred if I could have used Tom Kench like, you know, two weeks ago with the uh, adventure, I think, against the, um, I think against the Fizz or something, I can't really remember, but no, it's not, uh, you know, not against the Fizz, it was the last week's adventure against the uh, Azir. So, you know, with the Suffer here, ideally the Tom Kench will keep getting buffed and his stats will keep growing bigger and bigger, but unfortunately I don't have the Tom Kench unlocked yet, so we're gonna try to play something else here. Iter of Enhancements, Round Start of O Summons, Next Turret, and for this fact alone, for this particular power alone, I think I'm gonna go with Yasuo here and the reason for that is well quite simply because this is the first time I'm taking a look at the Katarina adventure here so I'm not really sure what to expect it seems kind of scary so in case um, things get a little bit out of hand at least we have the ability to stun the board or stun the enemy to prevent you know potential uh, you know disaster there if you will so let's just quickly go over the Yasuo real quick uh, level 30 entry star Yasuo which means I do have access to follow the wind to round start stun the strongest enemy this is what I was referring to earlier having the ability to stun every round could be fairly useful considering I do not know what we're gonna expect into that adventure. Uh, never dull plus one strong mana when an ally strikes granted plus one plus zero. Just a really good thing with the Yasuo of course since Yasuo is gonna be consistently striking. And in terms of the champion level here, level 30 Yasuo means I do have access to the third rare relic slot and the four star next itself but most important is gonna be the hero's welcome here. Uh, in terms of the relics, I am going with a Troking's Crown, a Tempest Blade as well as a Crown of Inheritance. I think this is good because first of all, uh, Yasuo is gonna go really really big because of the star power here so the overwhelm could be useful. Tempest Blade when I level up stun all enemies is a no-brainer on the Yasuo in my opinion and with the rally essentially we can just wipe out the board immediately instantly so it's definitely a good uh, option to have on him you know without question all right so let's quickly head back out and we are going to take a look and see how this adventure functions Alright, so we are in Shirima for this one, and our mini boss here is gonna be Jinx. Okay, super mega death rocket, I guess, uh, which isn't too bad. And Kairino, of course, I think she gets a, yeah, when full blaze the champion, grant the other units plus two, plus two. Alright, so I think Yasuo might have been a good pick here because we might need that stun. We'll see, we'll see. Let's head to the first power node first and see what we pick up. Bouncing Blades offers a backup and reunited. I think we can reroll here. Ideally, I want to see if I can get two stuns. That'll be kind of crazy. Endurance this arm and see the power. Let's try to reroll again. Craftsman's favor, high education, and pharaoh senses. Eh, let's reroll. Picks up a quick draw battlefield training. Kinda risky to spend all rerolls here, but you know what? I think I'm gonna do it. Uh, Afterlife Forbidden, Dragon's Rage, Rush. Okay, Dragon's Rage isn't too bad actually because the Yasuo will be striking consistently. So the Dragon's Rage could actually, you know, buff up his stats. I think we're gonna go ahead and pick this. It's not the rare or epic that I would have preferred, but, the, you know, this is perfectly fine. Okay, so let's head to the Rock Hopper here. Alright, so we got Yone, Blastcone, Ceiling, and Navori Blade Scout here. I think we'll keep this. This seems fine. Been 
One thing we do need to be really, really careful of in the, you know, in the uh, Yasuo here, especially in the start, is that, you know, we don't accidentally mill ourselves. There's a couple of cards that will actually give us the draw, so we need to be really careful that we don't accidentally mill ourselves here. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go Blast Cone Seedling and... No, let's not do that. Let's actually stun here. I think that'll be better. Probably lose here to this guy, but it's fine. At least we progress Yasuo's level up, which could be important. Right, I'm gonna go to Blade Scout here. They picked the wrong row. Rolling Sands, okay. Um, I think I have an idea what I'm gonna do next turn. We are probably gonna want to drop this Blast Cone Seedling here, and no, we'll not do that. Let's attack first. Catch me if you can. I have an idea, I have an idea. We're intentionally not bringing on Faye because this will just, you know, give us the vulnerable, which I don't really want. Alright, we'll go Barry here. Probably use the seedlings as blocking units. Doesn't want to attack, cool. I'm tempted to bring on Yasuo, but I want to see if we could bait out more units. Okay, I tell you what, this is what we do. We have enough mana. Let's go ahead and go Navori Blade Scout first. I want to bait out as many units as I can. Then we drop the Yasuo, we level up, and then we get the Rally. Alright, we're gonna attack first. That way we get as much damage as possible. Yeah, so on, we rally and we win. I will follow this path until the end. Follow the wind. Good back. There we go. Ah, uh, not quite, but it's fine. We're just gonna attack here. To be careful about the cards in our hand, we have seven here, so I think we should be okay. We need to be really careful about the amount of cards we have left. Okay, I think we're gonna go Yoni and stun these two. I know we get vulnerable here, but it's fine. We have enough to play Steel Tempest, but again, we have to be careful because this will draw. So, we have to be really careful about milling ourselves. It's fine. It's gonna kill our Yoni here, but it's alright. Alright, we win. Cool. Alright, so we get a Mind Splitter, a Golden Herald, and a Lady of Blood here. I think we're just gonna go with a Mind Splitter. I know it's really expensive, but the stun could be nice. We're just gonna pick that up. Alright, so let's hit the Support Champ here. And let's see, we get Senna, we get Soraka, and Malphite. Mm, these are all really expensive, if I'm gonna be honest. Now, the problem is that, you know, I think Malphite would be the best because it has some stun synergy. But he is really expensive. Soraka is cheap and the capture is not bad as well. Heal could be important too. I think I might go for this because, you know, we are going to be facing... If I just double check the powers here. We are going to be facing Suffer. So the heal could be important and Soraka is fairly cheap as well. Yeah, I think we'll just go with Soraka. Capture is also not bad. 
Alright, so we have a Profiteer here, as well as a Savage Reckoner. I want to see the rewards first. This is a spell chest, a shop, as well as a healer. We are probably going to want to head to the shop here. Uh, I think Savage Reckoner could be easier, right? The first time the foe attacks each round, the foe's strongest attacking unit can't drop below one health. Uh, okay, it seems fine. Though, Profiteer, I think, could be easier because we should be able to stun it quite frequently. I think we'll go to the Profiteer instead. Alright, get Soraka here, which is great. That means the odds of drawing a Yasuo should be higher. We will get rid of the Will of Ionia. We'll keep the Blade Scout and the Concussive Palm. Beautiful, we get our Yasuo. Blade Scout on. Yeah, this is pointless because it's zero. It's probably not gonna attack. I'm just gonna, you know, do it for the for the lols. <laughs> All right, it's cool. We're gonna end around here, and I think what we're gonna do is we're probably gonna drop concussive palm. All right, we'll do concussive palm. I think we're gonna stun this guy. At least we still have one unit of uh, alive. We'll take the one damage. It's cool. We're gonna buff this guy, right? Oh, it buffs the turret, okay. Hmm, let's see. Yasuo's like two away. So I bring on the Yasuo this turn. He goes up to four next turn. Next, and he he's gonna level up on the next, you know, our next attacking turn. Which means we're gonna waste the rally. Okay, so I think it might be better to bring on after that. I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna drop the I'm gonna drop the two shadow assassins. The dark beckons. Well maybe not two, but one of it at least. Doesn't look like much. They'll never see me coming. Okay, it's cool. Uh actually no, we can avoid that, right? If we play a Kill an ally four and grant. Ah, okay, it's not gonna work. Okay, so we're just gonna have to let this die then. I thought this was enough to survive that. It's cool, we're just gonna attack like so. Get the two damage. Alright, I'm gonna drop the Yoni here. We're gonna stun this 5 5 and the 5 1. Patience and virtue make a true sword. Perfectly fine, we'll block like so. Probably use Astral Protection on the Yoni. Actually, we may not need to if I'm gonna be honest. I think we'll just leave that first. Let's pass the turn. Alright, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna drop Faye first. I have a rough idea of what I want to do, actually. Or can we attack first? Hmm. No, I think we'll attack first. That would be better. Okay, so let's Faith attack. Like so, to kill this guy. I have a rough idea of what I want to do. We'll even heal up the Yone first, I guess. It's cool. I have enough mana, I have enough mana. I know my plan here. We're just gonna attack first. I just hope it doesn't get a tough here. Okay, quick attack is alright. Alright, Faye on. Think you're fast? Cute. Now we're gonna get a shitload of stunts. No one is promised tomorrow. Answer for what you have done. 
Okay, it's cool. All right, beautiful. This is 28 damage here. Nice. All we need to do is survive a couple more turns and, well, probably one more turn and we should get the victory. Good stuff. Right, I'm just going to drop the Star Spring here. It's probably not that important, but I'm still going to go for it. <laughs> It's cool. We play Soraka, we capture the 7-7, seven, seven. it's fine. We don't really need to do it, but I'm gonna do it anyway. And I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna block with the Yone here. Beautiful, we win. Yeah, the Soraka was definitely the right choice. We managed to heal up this Fey here, which could have been important in, you know, certain situations. We're gonna attack like so. Ah, uh, we don't need the drag, it's fine. We get a victory. Alright, so good stuff. And we get a couple of champions here. We get Lee Sin, Tom Kench. I really don't want to go for any of these, even though I acknowledge that Lee Sin Black Cleaver seems fun. Uh, the problem is that, you know, like I said, I've said this many times as well for those of you who are new. I don't like many champions in the deck because essentially it, you know, reduces the odds of drawing the champion that we need or the champion that we want. So with that in mind, we are definitely not going to go for the Lee Sin or the Tom Kench. We're probably going to have to pick up the Green Glade Lookout here because we can't really do anything. We have to pick up something. So we're going to go with this card. Alright, so let's head to the shop here. Gonna grab a power, of course, and we get a mana flow. Beautiful. We definitely want this. This will definitely help us. And in terms of the cards itself, I don't really see anything that I like, so we're just gonna leave it here. And we have a item chest, another shop note, and a smooth soloist. We are gonna wanna head to the smooth soloist, so let's take on the Vecoron Vagabond. Alright, Yoni, Concussive Palm, Greenlit Lookout. Let's get rid of the Yoni and the Astral Protection. We'll keep the Concussive Palm and we'll keep the Greenlit Lookout. I think we'll play Soraka immediate, immediately and just capture this Vagabond here. Alright, let me just recount the Yasuo level up here. So, next turn, there's gonna be a third stun. Uh, he's gonna go to a tree. On... When we get the attack token again, the stun's gonna go up to a four. And when the AI gets the attack token, it's gonna go up to another five. Okay, so we can bring on the Yasuo. Yeah, we'll do it. Death is like the wind, always by my side. Waters, protect our prosperity. Right, I'm gonna attack like so, it should be fine. We're not taking it. We're taking it back. All right, so a block like so. Um, we're not gonna spend any stuns here because that will mean Yasuo will waste the rally. I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna commit this. Actually, we'll block here. Or, you know what? Let's put it here. It's alright. We'll use the Astral Protection and possibly heal the Soraka up. Let's drop some of these Green Glade Lookouts first. Man, 
you know what? Let's not heal the Soraka. We can use her ability to heal. So we just got another uh, bring a look out here. One of these Vagabonds are gonna get stunned, so it's fine. Okay, I have an idea. Let's attack with everything. Let's actually hang these two back. We'll just attack with this with, with these first. Alright, so I think we'll just immediately stun here, level up the Yasuo, get a rally, and then we can attack again. At last, I have found you. Yone, turn back while you can. Even I have good days. Maybe I do have a future. I do alright. Doesn't really matter at this point, we have the victory. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we're just gonna attack like so, it's cool. Alright, beautiful. We get an upgrade to the Infinite Mind Splitter as well as a Ghost Steer, given Ally Elusive this round. I think we'll just go with the Mind Splitter upgrade. I know it's a really expensive card, we're probably not gonna play it, but you know, I think we're just gonna upgrade it for fun. <laughs> we should be fine. Alright, so we're gonna head to the Smooth Soloist here. Um, oh, we, don't, we, we can't afford any of these because we don't have enough gold. This is what happens when you don't pay attention to your gold. Okay, it's fine though, we're just gonna have to leave here, it's such a shame. We probably should have headed to the shop in all honesty, that way we could have picked up another common power. But it's fine, we're just gonna head to the healer here. We don't, I don't think we need that extra one health, so we're just gonna cut a card. Let's see if there's anything that we don't really need. To be honest, I think we don't really need to cut anything, it seems okay. I think we're just gonna keep everything here, it's fine. Uh, oh, we just have to, okay, we'll take the health then, because we can't really have access if we don't grab something. Alright, so now we're gonna head to the Jinx here. Okay, Soraka, Concussive Palm, Fabe, and Navori Blade Scout. I think we'll keep this. It's fine. I have a suspicion Jinx is gonna come on here. If the Jinx comes on, we can just play Soraka and capture it. That could be great. Hmm, interesting. Alright, so... No Jinx. I think what I'm gonna do is... I'm gonna play both the- no, I can't play both the face, I can only play one of them. Alright, so we'll play one of the face. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. It's gonna have a- okay, that's a time wind. Alright, I thought it was gonna be, you know, the, uh, what is it, the, um... You know, the, the deal tree one, I can't remember the name of that spell, but the one that deals tree. Okay, it's fine, we're just gonna resolve this. For your blade scout, we're gonna get the attack off. Take one damage here, but it's fine. I suspect Jinx is gonna come on here. Alright, we'll capture the Jinx. Get a couple of loses, it's fine. Get five damage, it's okay. We'll drop the Yasuo next turn. Let's see. 2-5. Uh, if we stun this turn, I will go up to 4 next turn. And he'll get the 5 on this turn again. Okay, so I think we're just gonna attack first. We 
You can use the recalls, of course, don't forget that. But uh, I would like to save that if possible. Okay, before this connects, we're gonna heal up the Soraka here. Gonna take 6 damage, but it's fine. I think we can just have Yasuo level up and attack this turn. Yeah, that'll be great. Alright, so... I'm actually gonna stun. I'm actually gonna stun one of the attacking units here. We probably even just recall this guy. Yasuo should level up. Stun everyone, and then we get to attack again. Nice. If the journey doesn't get you the rope... No... I will follow this path until the end. No cure. I do all right. My kind of lessons. I do all right. No cure. Perfectly fine. You leave me no choice. Live with purpose. I leave my own fate. The sun rock got me good. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, we attack again and we win. Alright, so we get a Vampiric Scepter on Yasuo, a Scout as well. I think Scout is probably the best one here, so we're gonna go with that. Alright, so we're gonna head to the power here. Perfected mana flow, get around stuck at him, mana gem. Okay, we're picking this up, no question about it. This is probably the best one so far. We get a regular mana flow as well as a perfected mana flow. There's no way we're losing this now. Alright, so let's head towards the Psy Scout, I guess, because it's a vicious enemy and I think I want that extra power. Oh lord, this is gonna be a turn one Yasuo, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna keep this, it seems fine. Yeah, we can go for a turn one Yasuo, but I think it would be smarter to actually play something else. I think we'll drop the green lit lookout first because I want to bait out this rolling sands here. Let's hope there's, uh, you know, no other rock hoppers. Okay, cool. And we're gonna drop the Blast Cone Seedling. I want the impact. Alright, so let me just think about this again. Um, Yasuo will get... You know, the third stun will connect in the next turn if Yasuo comes on the board. Third stun on the uh, the enemy gets the attack token. Fourth stun when we get it here. And fifth stun on the enemy. Okay, so I think we can bring on the Yasuo. Is a leap's only purpose. Oh. As death. We pretty much won the game here. <laughs> we have definitely won the game here. Oh crap! Oh god damn it! Five five, Jesus! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I wasn't paying attention. This is what happens, you know, when you potentially get too overconfident. Okay, it's fine. We're gonna resolve then. I definitely screwed this up. I won't lie about that. I screwed that up. We didn't need to sacrifice the Yasuo there, but we have to be really careful moving forward. Pay attention, man. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna attack here with the elusive. Holy hell! I'm so lucky we have another one here. This could have gone so badly. Between. 
Okay, I tell you what, we'll drop the Mind Spiller and stun here. We'll stun... Next round, start. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna stun the... 6-3 and the 2-2. Two -two. Next turn, not this turn. It's not gonna attack anyway because it sees the, you know, the disadvantage here, so we're just gonna end the round. Alright, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna attack first. Alright, now we'll get the rally on the Yasuo. I will follow this path until the end. Death is like the wind. Always by my side. Even I Alright, it's fine. Uh let's get the scout attack first. Alright, summon something else. Perfect. We'll play Yoni here, stun these two, get more damage on the Yasuo. Does the wind flee, or does it follow? My kind of lessons. Even I have good days. Alright, I think this should be enough, right? Yeah, this is enough. Beautiful. Okay, so we get Astral Protection, Twin Wind Technique, and Star Shepherd here. I think what I'm gonna go for is probably just the Astral Protection. I don't think it's gonna be that important at this point. Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna pick it up because we have to. Now we're gonna head to the Power Node here. Let's see, we get Wall Inspiration, Trifarian Might, and Craftsman's Favor. I think we're just gonna go with the Trifarian here. Alright, so let's head to the shop. By a power, of course, we get memory game. I don't really think we need this ideally. Let's just leave first and see what we have ahead. We have a champion item chest here and a spells chest. Okay, so I think we'll see if we want to spend any gold here before we head to the champion item chest. To be honest, I don't think we need anything. Manifest a card isn't going to be that important either. Uh, get an empty mana gem is also not important. I think we're just going to leave. It's fine. Now we're going to head to the desert, desert naturalist here. Alright, so we're gonna reroll, uh, get rid of Astral Protection and the Will of Ionia. We'll keep these two. And we get two Astral Protections. We get our Yasuo anyway, cool. We're gonna bring him on, I think. Death is like the wind, always by my side. History is whatever. We're just gonna aggro our way through this one. <laughs> and we should be fine. Alright, so I think what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna drop the favors. I know it's gonna attack here. And we're gonna play Steel Stempest and stun it. You know, I'm not sure about you, but I like, you know, the Yasuo's uh, voice acting because <laughs> the, the, the made-up language is, you know, I think, in my opinion, kind of cool. Uh, what what does he always say? You know, has, Hasagi or something. Uh, <laughs> not really sure what it means, but yeah, let's go ahead and drop the Blast Cone Seedling here, and I think we'll just get the impact off. Alright, gonna end the round. We're gonna attack with a scout first. Okay, I'm gonna drop Infinite Mind Spiller, stun the 7-7 seven, seven and the 4-4 four, four for the next consecutive turns. Should get the Yasuo level up as well, if, if we don't get the win here, of course. Alright, we've already attacked with a scout, right? Yeah, we've already attacked with a scout. We'll attack with everything. Uh, actually, not everything. We'll hang these two back. Hand. 
I dare you. Maybe I do have a future. No cure. Now who's got the upper hand? And we don't even need the scout, we have the win here instantly. <laughs> We get a FMO uh, on the Yasuo, we're picking this up, why not? <laughs> we already bust, you know, kind of busted on the Yasuo, let's just make him even more broken. Alright, so let's head to the champion item chest here. Uh, we're gonna grab a Barrier and Fearsome. I think we're just gonna go with the... Well, Fearsome is fine, because we are summoning the Yasuo on turn 1, it could be decent. Alright, so let's head to the healer here. Uh, we don't really need the health, I think we're just gonna cut a card. I think I wanna cut out the... Hmm... There isn't really anything to cut out, if I'm gonna be honest. I gotta tell you, let's not cut anything again. We're just gonna grab the zero health because we need to in order to progress. And now we're gonna take on the Katarina. Ready for tri Three Yasuos. We don't really need that many. We're gonna get rid of two of them. Probably should cut out the Astro Protection, but I don't think I saw that earlier. It's fine, though. It's fine. I have a suspicion Cat's gonna come on here. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do... So I'm gonna wait for the Cat to come on and then I'll capture it with Soraka. That could be better. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Oh, no Cat. Interesting. Alright, so I think we might just play Soraka immediately and... Oh, okay, there's gonna be a Cat here. Yeah, she's, she's at 2 cost. Alright, thank god I caught that. We're gonna pass the turn again. Alright, we'll capture the Soraka. Uh, sorry, capture the Katarina. Uh, oh shit, Katarina is 3-2, that unit is 6-5. Oh god, it captures the strongest unit every time. I thought it's gonna capture Katarina because she's a champion for some reason. Ah, oh, well, it's fine. We're just gonna resolve then. Ha, they'll never know what killed them. Probably should have banked our mana there. That way we would have enough to, you know, basically stun. Well, it's perfectly okay, I guess. Uh, wait, I think we had enough earlier, right? Oh, crap. We had enough earlier. We probably should have stunned. I'm probably the worst play ever. My apologies. My apologies. That was terrible. I wasn't paying attention to our mana as well as you know, the cards that we had. All right, we're going to play Yasuo here. Is Elite's only purpose. Let me show you what I can do. I'm gonna attack straight up. Life and death on a blade's edge. Never play face. Alright, this is what we're gonna do. Stars fall. We're gonna stun like we're gonna attack like so. Now I know for sure we have enough mana. So if the Katarina attacks again, we're just gonna stun that cat. Alright, so yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. Alright, so yeah, we are gonna stun this cat. We have Mind Splitter next turn, I believe. Yeah, we do. We're gonna heal up the Soraka here. We're not gonna block anything with a Yasuo. Actually, we don't have Mind Splitter because we've already played the spell. Okay, it's fine. 
Um, we might as well just play another Astro Protection on the Yasuo and get him to, you know, block something. Let's see, the Katarina's gonna get recalled here, right? Yeah, she is. Alright, so... Astro Protection. On Yasuo for sure. Right, we'll probably just plop this, um... One tree here. Stand with me. Let's see what it does. Oh, you gotta be joking. What the hell was that? How the hell did it get to 2-2? Two, two? Oh, it played the champion spell, is it? Wait, the champion spell contributes to the plus 2 as well? When the full plays a champion, grant the other units plus 2, plus 2. Wait, this is a champion spell, right? How the hell... I, I don't know. Maybe it does. I'm not really sure. Uh, do confirm this for me if you guys know. The champion spell apparently gives, you know, everything plus two, plus two as well. Not really sure what's going on. Alright, so we're just gonna resolve this then. It's, uh, a bit of a shame we lose the Soraka here. Oh, we actually don't, but, uh, it's fine. We're gonna heal up the Soraka for sure. Uh, I think that cat's gonna come on. She's probably gonna kill this Yasuo, which isn't fun, but it is what it is, I guess. Okay, I tell her, let's play some Shadow Assassins. Let's see if we could draw out the Yasuo. Yeah, you know, draw an extra Yasuo. Okay, we can Gossip Pump. Perfect. We can stun the cat here. Right, I'm gonna stun her immediately. Alright, so happy accident there because I forgot, you know, I wasn't paying attention to Yasuo's level up counter. So I was kind of happy that we got the level up there. Cool. So we're just going to attack here. Get the scout first. And I think we have the win here. Alright guys, so that is the four and a half star adventure done. Now in my opinion, I think it was, well, let's just say, and let's be frank as well, I think it was slightly easier for me because I went with Yasuo which allowed me to stun quite often and at the same time we got some fairly decent powers like uh, the two mana gems here, so that was definitely great. But I think it's still fairly doable. In fact, I think we got more XP from that one compared to the Aurelian Soul. So for those of you who are essentially, you know, trying to grind out some levels on some champions, it could be worth trying this adventure now i think in my opinion as well it's not as difficult as the aurelian soul because first of all you must remember the aurelian soul will keep summoning champions it'll just keep spamming champions and whatnot and most of the champions in the path are kind of op basically to get you know double stats and whatnot so in comparison in contrast this could be fairly easier compared to the aurelian soul battle so it's definitely great for grinding xp but what i really like about this is you know the fact that it has some sort of symbolism in terms of what we can expect when the ferro campaign does come now my guess for the ferro campaign is it's probably going to be a five-star adventure with possibly Lissandra as the boss. I really don't see Sejuani or Ash being the boss here. Orn could definitely be an option, if you will, but I think if, you know, they introduce Volibear by then, I think Volibear would be a much better pick in terms of being the Ferriot boss. But yeah, this is just pure speculation at this point, just pure theorizing, if you will, on my part, so I'm not really certain what's going to come. Uh, leave me your thoughts down below. I'd really love to hear them. But anyway, we are going to end things here because we are running out of time. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of the Path of Champions here on the channel, and if you did consider leaving a like as well as subscribing i really do appreciate that support but most importantly it's so that you don't miss future episodes or uploads of legends or Terra or path of champions content just like this one and with that being said this is signing off thank you so much for watching thanks for joining me as well hopefully i catch you guys in the next one goodbye